18 minutes past eight. Welcome back to Breakfast. Well, being your own boss comes with a lot of responsibility, but working for a company that does not have a CEO and your colleagues determine your pay also comes with its own hurdles. You heard that right. It was an experiment that ended up sticking. Greater than a consultancy agency lets employees work together to determine how much each of them should be paid after working on a project. I know what you're all thinking. Does it work? Well, for more, we're joined by Greater Than partner Susan Vasterfield. Susan, good morning. Good morning, Daniel. I am picturing chaos and panic. Does it work? It absolutely works. Um, money is so taboo, um, but because it's a taboo, there are so many opportunities and so much potential to decide to think about money differently and to make money a happy story uh, instead of a stressful story. I want to get back to that happy story shortly, but how exactly did you adopt this idea of employee-led pay scheme? I think that um, when we are starting our entrepreneurial journeys, oftentimes we think that it's a solo journey. And there are uh, quite a few of us here in Wellington that clubbed together about 10 years ago to start experimenting with what it would be like if as entrepreneurs, we weren't doing everything by ourselves, but supporting each other to do our thing that mattered. And in doing that, um, getting back to the no CEO and no boss, we each found that we brought different skills and um, things that we uh, were passionate about and good at to the table and thinking about doing money in a different way just kind of uh, went along with the whole philosophy of kind of throwing everything that we thought we knew or we'd inherited about the way to organize businesses that, you know, started 150 years ago in the Industrial Revolution and think, what, how can we experiment? How can we play with literally everything that has to do with organizing a business? And money is principle one of those. Okay, here's what I don't get. You say that you're bringing, you and your colleagues have many skills. Surely there'd it'd be competitive. Mm. There would be tension. Is there? Yeah, I mean, sometimes there is, right? But I think that we all kind of share the common philosophy that work doesn't need to be a zero-sum game and it doesn't need to be competitive. So, for example, when we are working together on a project, mm -hmm. uh, we each um, have uh, our own skills that we bring to it. But rather than assuming ahead of time that we know what's going to happen, our the way that we pay ourselves is reflective, right? We At the end of every month, we come together and we actually talk about what really happened. So, so that really brings the possibility and potential for everything from uh, me being able to take uh, an unexpected couple of days off to uh, uh, Jessica stepping up and saying, look, I'm going to cover that, or for Jude to um, maybe as a junior on the team to step in and really start to flourish in a way that we didn't think or know was possible. And that at the end of the month, when we're sharing those stories about what happened, allocating the pay in, in a way that makes us all the happiest seems much more alive and generative than just having a static pay packet. And with no boss and no CEO, who then steps into that leadership? Is there a mutual understanding between you? I mean, how many in the team and who does Absolutely. step up? Yeah, so there is definitely a mutual understanding. There's about 25 of us. We're a global organization. And if we have, I don't know, 10 or 20 projects going a month, I might be on three or four projects a month. And it's literally just this... Um, you know, I'm don't you know, I'm not fooling myself. It takes a, a level of trust that is probably unprecedented in most workplaces. Mm -hmm. But once you do it a couple of times and you can see that it works and that it actually makes you happy, I would never go back to a static pay packet. Could this be adopted outside of your workplace? Could any workplace take this on? Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, especially with um, entrepreneurial ventures where we're trying to build something or do something together. Uh, a lot of our clients also are agencies that, again, are sick of this race to the bottom in terms of competing for the, uh, you know, at the lowest price point um, with the with their clients. And 
how can we attract and retain great talent and people who really want to experiment with how they are contributing with each other and how the workplace can become something and persist as something that is developmental on all and in all facets of our lives. Very, very interesting. Susan Basterfield, greater than partner. Thank you so much for your time this morning. My pleasure, Daniel. Thank you. Mm. The only problem is that um, you've just got a cautionary tale about getting rid of the bosses that that means you have to take on more responsibility. That's, yeah. That's I don't want that. <laughs> You're so far away. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Take, yeah. Oh, well, I can move closer if you like. Yeah, let's just, yeah, okay. But I'm moving up. It's 8.30 News Sport Weather. Plus, we'll get to more of your feedback.